Hold on, I'm going for it. Gotta get through. Come on! Yes! Made it. We broke ice to get in here. And we may have just stumbled upon a nice crappie bite. You want the net? Might as well. Holy smokerooski. <laughs> Dude, let's go. Motored through ice. Busted it up to get back here. And things are worthwhile. Um, I might uh, point out that we were at a spot earlier and I caught one for the wall. What an absolute unit, 14 and three quarters. Boys, we might have a new taxidermy bill. Holy smokes. This is unreal. I was really torn between letting it go or mounting it and decided to mount it. Yours was more exciting than this one. But we have got the panfish trifecta, Jordan. I might have to keep it. Swallowed it. Can I borrow those? Please? Yeah. What's that? Could be both. I know. It looks like we're drifting, but the ice might just be drifting. I could put that heavier anchor rope down. <laughs> it's a super windy day right now, so getting out of the uh, out of the wind and into some of these backwaters is nice. That's not a bad one. Sir Bobber. Oh, dude, it got hammered. That's a good one. Oh, it looked like it. That's a chunky little female. I like to let her go. That's a nice male. Keep that one. I'm using a little drop shot right here with a piece of red worm on it. And while that's while I'm casting that out. I've just got the, the bobber rod with the minnow. Jordan's, Jordan's really loving my the double double bobber rod right now. Can't get better than that. No. It is a pretty awesome, awesome way to fish sometimes. The simplicity of it. it feels like being a kid again watching a bobber get doinked. Absolutely love that. I caught my... Oh, nice. I caught my big one on this drop shot. That was pretty cool. With just a tiny piece of worm. Couldn't hardly believe when I saw that thing get to the surface. I was like, Jordan, get the net! Please, wind, you can stop, you know? Water temp right now is 38.4 degrees. Probably would be warmer if we weren't right next to ice, but I'm, su I'm surprised there's actually ice still hanging around, to be honest. Plus a few wet engineers. Yeah. We, we put the, the hull to the test coming in here. It was... Gonna have to check the SS we're probably, we're probably gonna have to do the same thing on the way out. It looks like it filled back in. Yeah, there definitely. Two, I there was a flurry. Oh, bobber getting doink! Come on. Oh yeah. Good fish. Oh my gosh, this is four pound test. Yeah, get the net. Because I can't, I can't boat flip this one. Let's go, baby. This is way too much fun, man. That's actually the first nice perch I actually caught on this rod, so it felt a little bigger. I'm gonna move you around. Please do. Is there room up there? Yeah. 
I just put the Minn Kota on there, so that's uh, making that a little more tricky to maneuver around. Give me a nice juicy rosy. Yep. Rosy red minnow on the slip bobber. Like so. Yeah, I'll introduce you guys. This is my buddy Jordan. College roommate actually for a year. Came down from Madison. We were gonna ice fish. Ironically, we had this weekend planned to do some ice fishing and uh, well, the winter we're having that obviously did not happen so. I mean, we're not completely devoid of ice. <laughs> True, there is <laughs> ice in the vicinity. Gosh, my bobber's down again, dude. I just casted it out and I turned around and I do not... Oh no, it's right there. Kind of a bad glare. <laughs> oh. I think this one's going down. Are you hooked up too? I'm hooked up right now. I'm about to be. I got a perch. Gill on the worm. I'll throw this guy back. Dude, this is getting fun, man. I love this. Yep. Your bobber is, this one's going right here. For sure, it's kind of coming towards you, I think. Yep. Uh, is that the worm or minnow? I thought it was doing it. Something's definitely playing around with it. Crappie. Oh, that's, that, that's why it was. Go flip him. I'll lift him if he falls off. I got my drop shot rig hanging here. Crappie. We're down. Man, this thing is just the unit that I caught earlier. Almost touches 15. Never got a 15 incher before. It is 14 and, oh man, you could almost say that's 15, but technically 14 and three quarters. Although, 15, 16. man, yeah, <laughs> it's close as it can be to it. Just an absolute unit of a perch there it is 2.01 pound perch unbelievable i'll be honest it makes me a little sad knowing that she isn't going to be able to spawn but it's getting mounted i would never even fathom cleaning this thing but that's just me some people do bobber is down I guess when you catch a 14 and three quarter inch or everything seems little. But when I grew up in northern Wisconsin, I would be pretty pumped about that as a kid. This fishery changes a guy. Oh no, here goes the fly rod. You dirty dog. Oh boy, he's actually trying it. Dude, if you catch a perch or crappie on a fly rod in this wind, I will be generally, genuinely very impressed. Ah, I'm bleeding. How am I bleeding? Perch gill plates always make me bleed, I feel like.
Oh snap, I do not see my bobber. Oh boy. Hello. I was looking down. Oh! I should not be boat flipping them with four pound test, but oops. Beautiful perch. You're gonna be dinner, buddy. <laughs> What'd you catch? Something woody. <laughs> the old stick bass. Well, wait, we'll go, we'll go get it. We'll move in a bit. I just got a bite though, so I'm taking one more cast. I'll probably catch that same tree. Yeah, because we'll we'll drift over it. Okay. And then we'll we'll pull it. We can actually drift down, we'll kind of fish the spot that the ice flow was covered. Yeah. And then um just kind of putts around with the trolling motor and maybe try to find some new fish. My hope is if we get on this downside of it, it should pop out. Oh, we should be able to re I guess we could go up right to the tip of it and you can reel down to it and pop it free that way. How is this still on there? Dude, well, you got a nice setup to be able to handle that. Holy crap. No, I agree with you. It's if it wasn't so windy, it would be more manageable. It's probably hard to even like detect the bite at the same too. I do believe I got at least a couple hits. So. To, like, it'd be a lot more, heck I would, if I had a fly rod and we were hammering them, I would try it too. Cause that would be so fun, but. Five hour old quick trip hash browns aren't the best, but hey, anything tastes good when you're fishing. When you're catching. When you're fishing in, uh, Feb well, no, what is it, March 2nd? Yeah, March 2nd. Water temp here is 41 degrees. Moved way up in this little, little, uh, kind of bay type backwater. Haven't caught too much right here. We're just exploring a lot, exploring around. Kind of fun to adventure some new water though i'm far from an expert at using side imaging but i'm pretty sure that's marking fish yep there's definitely fish around we did some exploring kind of back on them now that's the first fish uh that's the first time the rod has bent over since your fly rod caught the tree isn't yeah. that correct so it's been a little bit slower but been doing some exploring I'd found it. We found water that was up to 42 degrees, um, way at the kind of like far part of this bay. Now we're back at 40 degree water temps here, about four and a half feet. Is that is it taking it? It was underwater, unless it's snagged. It might. Fish. Dude, that was a nice one. What is that? I have my stuff everywhere right now. Is it a pike? Oh, it is a pike. <laughs> That's probably what it was last time. Well, that was fun. See ya, buddy. <laughs> Earlier today, Jordan hooked a giant pike and I goofed on the net job and it, I mean, it was probably 30. Pretty nice. It was fat. Yeah. Give him the beans, baby. Oh, yeah. Looks like a good one. Is it? Oh, yeah, I'll get the... We need to uh we need to take that drop shot rig off of here. 
Oh man. So I've I got a disaster going right now because I'm trying to pair the iPilot to the Minn Kota with this and this all while Jordan's catching crappies. And yeah, it's a disaster in this boat. Who's got uh, the more important job? I mean, see, oh geez, and then I got this thing going. And then See, things things are things are uh, things are getting squirrely here. I need to pay, I need to probably just fish and worry about this at a later time. Priority. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yes, I will need a minnow. Yeah, my priorities are not straight right now, man. I need to just put I need to put all this away and deal with this later. Did I give you that players? But it would be kind of cool to have my Minn Kota figured out. I think the uh, I think the Minn Kota can wait a little bit. We're not really using it right now, anyway. I think it paired though, to be honest. So this is the drop shot I've just got right off the back of the boat, and put it in the rod holder, and it got hit there. Jordan's hammering them on the bobbers. I think it paired. I think so. So I'm just gonna press. Ooh, I don't know if I want to actually press the. I'd your bobber if you. Yeah. Don't if I press the power, but the prop button, that just sounds like a horrible idea. Um, Can it like turn? So what if I go like? Oh, oh she's down. working. I have the power right now. This is unreal. Life just got a lot better. Life just got very interesting on the river with my iPilot Minn Kota Taroba. Thank you Mike for hooking me up with this. I appreciate you. Thank you. Well, that's going to do it for this outing. Uh, awesome day on the river. Caught some nice crappies, some nice perch and obviously the, uh, the star of the show right there, 14 and 3 quarters. Jordan, we didn't have any ice, but uh, turned out to make the most of it. We'll huh? take it. <laughs> Honestly, we'll take I'd her. almost prefer it. This was uh, this was awesome. Wind was a uh, wind was kind of a struggle, but man, caught some nice fish. Not a ton of fish, but some real quality fish. And uh, just a beautiful day out here, watching eagles fly around and being outdoors. You can't really complain. Not at all. Not at all. Nice job, man. Till next one. Till next time. Hey, we might have to. We might actually go walleye fishing tonight too. So let's uh, let's pack this up. Go get some lunch, clean some fish, and yeah, I'm not ruling out going walleye fishing. It's only like two two o'clock. So sounds like a plan to me. We forgot to do a, say a fly rod update. Did you catch one? Nope. <laughs> it was a valiant effort, though. On the log. That log fought hard. I'm not ruling out the fly rod, the fly rod perch at some point though. Woo! The old SS minnow. Keeps you warm I'm trying to pull start this thing. One of these days I'll be upgrading. Maybe soon. But for now it's another adventure in this uh this old river boat. Oh, it's a lot softer than it was earlier yeah. today. <laughs> Way earlier. sending two perch to the taxidermist. Holy smokes, dude. Unreal. On the worm. 13 and a half inch toad. That means she's going back to do her thing, get those genetics in the water. Here, I'll take a picture. I'm 
absolute hog. Heck yeah, man. Hey, 